let me share my thoughts on Shakara Richardson's victory last night and the state of American sprinting. I do hope you find value in the channel and you will subscribe and like this video. Last night, we saw something impressive from Shakara Richardson and the entire Dennis Mitchell group. And allow me to give my thoughts on it. The last time an American woman legitimately won the Olympic gold medal over 100 meters was in 1996 when Gail Diva successfully defended her 100 meter title that she won four years earlier in Barcelona in 1992. At that time, she became the second woman ever to go back to back at the Olympics following the great Wyoming Tyus. Since 2008, Jamaica has dominated the 100 meter titles, back to back for Fraser Price, and then back to back for Elaine Thompson Hero. Almost 30 years on since Diva's triumph, it's quite possible that Shakara Richardson is poised to make the stars and stripes shine again in the French capital. Of course, we must wait and see what we get from Fraser Price, the elder stateswoman of sprinting, the most decorated career over 100 meters we've ever seen. And also, Sharika Jackson, the silver medalist from last year's World Championships. We will learn a lot about this in the coming days as the Jamaica National Championships is in just a matter of days. But back to the world champion and the US national champion, Shakara Richardson. It's very clear she's incredibly fast at the moment. If we go back to her opening round at the US national trials, she stumbled, still managed to go sub 10.9. And at that point, it was pretty clear to me she was in 10.6 shape. Her 10.71 run in the final confirms this. But even if we don't assess, or before we actually assess the start of that race, had she just properly run through the line, we could have been looking at a 10.68, a 10.69. It's very clear her first phase needs some work. She's not been starting well. And it's just a matter of execution. And that, my friends, I believe is the scary part. Because if she gets it right, we may be looking at something really special. And for the next coming weeks, that is what her coach, Dennis Mitchell, will be pri prioritizing, they have to work on. But it was a fabulous performance from her. We have to give it to her. She's looking really good over these past couple of years. And she put a lot of people on notice. And I have to say, all the women from the Dennis Mitchell camp look really well. We saw personal best from Melissa Jefferson, PB of 10.8, and a season best from Tonisha TT Terry, 10.89. These are signals to the rest of the world that they're in shape, but also it certainly makes them heavy favorites for the relay. In many respects, we have to say, we're at that point in the season where we learn a lot. We'll get a better sense of what will happen in Paris. We can start gauging our bets here. But for now, the Americans have declared their readiness. Over to you, Jamaica, and the rest of the world.